It's Kirsten. Hey, Brian, good morning. That's right. We're talking about the, the JDRF one walk coming up this weekend. It's on Sunday. Festivities start at 1130. The walk gets underway at one. It's at Mahoney State Park right in between Omaha and Lincoln to Amy. Tell us a little bit about what the JDRF one walk this weekend will be like. It's such an, an opportunity for everyone to come together. A sense of community, of course, for anyone who's been involved in anything like this before. Just being with others who you know are going through the same day to day battle that your self is going through or your loved one is going through and you're supporting them through that. It is an opportunity for people to come. We gather and have these festivities before. Like you said, there's face painting, there's um, all kinds of food and activities and bounce houses. You got to have bounce houses, a uh, photo with your walk family or the group that you're with. And then Three, new this two, year, which is very exciting one. for our walk, is the T1D parade. And this is an opportunity where we're going to line everyone up right before the walk. And this is based on how many years since their diagnosis. So it could be somebody that's been diagnosed 50 years ago to maybe last month. And we're gonna let them, some are, they're gonna wear superhero capes, I think, I'm understanding. And so they're gonna get to feel very special. We're gonna celebrate them. They're gonna walk in front of the stage and, and really just show them, these warriors, how much we love them. And then we'll, we'll go on the walk at one o'clock. That's wonderful. And so funds are being raised to further Two, research of, one. of type one. Just tell us about how important that is. Oh my gosh, for anyone, again, that has it or is living with it, you, you kind of just, you, you can't anticipate enough the opportunity for something new to come along in the form of technology. There's there's beta cell replacement therapies going on right now, research for that. There's um, the opportunity to kind of know ahead of time whether you might have type one. If you have a loved one, you can um, take a test to to see if you might might have that that uh, um, that gene, that ability to have that uh, to type have type one. Excuse me. So there's research going on all the time, um, new technology that makes their lives a little easier every single day and that's all we can ask for until we get our cure. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, Amy. Super great information. We'll be out here all morning talking about this weekend's JDRF1 walk and how you can get involved. Brian, back to you. All right, 1011's Kirsten Foote reporting for us. Thank you, Kirsten. The YM